Hello everybody, LSD Jesus here from Streamer House, and today I'm going to be going over the um, the Bones of Ramatha or Rathama set, which is the Necromancer pet build. So first of all, what are your stats going to be? Intellect. You're going to want intellect and vitality. Um, you want a lot of attack speed, as much attack speed as you can get, crit and crit, obviously, respectively. So, we'll go over the set first. Ramatha's is the pet set. So, the two set is your minions have a chance to reduce the cooldown of Army of the Dead by one second each time they deal damage. We're going to completely ignore this. We don't even run Army of the Dead. Um, the four set, you gain 1% damage reduction for 15 seconds each time one of your minions deals damage, up to 50 stacks. So, 50% damage reduction. All right, cool. You know, some toughness. Now, the sixth set is where your damage is coming from. Each active skeletal mage increases the damage of your minions and army of the dead by 250%. You can have up to 10 skeletal mages out at a time. So, that's the one set. Obviously, you can tell I'm using set weapons, too. These are very important to the build. It's the, uh, the Jetha set, which is when you target... When the target of your command skeletons dies... Your skeleton's automatically commanded to attack a nearby target. So as long as there's mobs on the screen, you don't have to recast Command Skeleton. They'll just constantly keep attacking new targets. And the bonus from this is, while your skeletons are commanded to attack a target, all of your minions deal 400% increased damage. So it stacks on top of all of your skeletal mages, which is where all of your damage is coming from. So, we'll go over the skills real quick, and then we'll go over the gear. So, for your primary, you're going to want Bone Spikes with Path of Bones. And, um, pretty much this is your generator. This is what's generating your essence. Which you use to cast your Skeletal Mages. Um, I went with Path of Bones because it hits multiple targets or as many targets as possible. To generate as much essence as humanly possible. Skeletal Mage. This is where all of your damage is coming from. This is all of your damage. And you want Singularity with the build I'm running, which consumes all of your essence, but it summons a more powerful mage, up to 3% for every point of essence consumed. So whenever I cast it, my mage is doing a bunch of extra damage. Big mage. Um, we're running Decrypify with um, Dizzy and Curse. It's, uh, it's a stun, has a chance to stun, but it also makes the enemies deal less damage. So it's survivability, um, blood rush, potency for the armor, and mobility. You know, this is your teleport, gets you out of trouble. Um, command skeletons, frenzy. Um, I haven't quite decided what I want to run. This is still a work in progress, but at the moment I'm running frenzy. And it command your skeletons to attack a, far, a target, and they go 25% uh, attack speed while they're doing this. And then Devour, Satiated. So Devour is, you eat corpses, and it restores essence. And with the rune Satiated, it increases your maximum life. So more survivability. For passives, um, running Overwhelming Essence, which increases your X essence. Stacks with uh, Singularity. Extended Servitude makes it so your skeletons last longer. Life from Death, consuming a corpse has a 20% chance to spawn a health globe. And Swift Harvesting makes it so um, your primary attacks attack quicker, therefore generating essence quicker, which means more singularity, which means more da mages, which means more damage. So, we'll go over the gear now. Um, we're going to be running the Ramatha six pieces. All six pieces, we're not using a royal ring. Okay, we're going to be running a Compass Rose and a Traveler's Pledge. Um... For rings, you're going to want either Unity, the Circle of Niljuis, or however you want to pronounce that, or the um, Crisbins is what I've been testing. I haven't 100% haven't decided what I want to run yet. So that's your jewelry. Your belt, this is very important, Dante's Binding. You gain an additional 49 to 50%, well, 40 to 50% damage reduction Whenever there's an enemy afflicted by your Decrypify, your curse. 
So not only will they be dealing less damage, but you're also taking less damage because of this. So this is your toughness. You use this to stay alive. Um, for bracers, I'm running lacunis at the moment, but I was thinking about switching over to reaper's wraps to, you know, stack well with this life from death for the health globes. Um, I honestly think the reaper wraps are going to start shining above the lacunis. I'm just running them right now for the attack speed. And you want physical damage for your element. Um, the weapons are Jethis and Jethis, the two set here. And mine have attack speed and area damage. I'm not sure if I want to roll that area damage to base damage or not. I haven't decided. Um, your gloves, preferably, would be int, attack speed, crit, crit. Your shoulders, you're going to want int, vit, armor, and you don't need the cooldown. Um, obviously, these are not what you're going to want. Um, let me go take a look real quick. I know you could get armor. Um, percent life wouldn't be bad. And you could also possibly... You don't really need command skeleton damage. You're not getting much damage from that, so probably area damage. Depending on what your build determines for. Um, the helmet, you're going to want it crit. And if you can sacrifice, you should be able to get um, skeletal mage damage on your helmet. Your chest piece, you want int vit armor um i was just messing around with command skeleton damage your belt int vit all res armor your pants int vit armor your boots int vit armor skeletal mage damage would be preferable um i haven't even rerolled these i just got these so and then your bracers you want physical skill int vit crit chance now, the Lacunis always roll with the uh, the bonus attack speed, so there's that. In your cube, you're going to run Relena's Shadow Hook, which um, increases your, uh, your damage based on your maximum essence. But the biggest thing is, is your bone spikes generate five additional essence for each enemy hit. So say, you know, you're going against a big group of enemies, you know, there's 20 enemies or something over here, bam. One bone spike, you're going to have half of your essence back instantly now. So that that's huge for your essence generation. Um, Tasker and Theos for your pet's attack speed. And then your ring is either going to be Crisbins or the Circle of Najulis or Unity. Um, for solo, I'd be running Unity. For groups, I was running the... Um, the, I'm still learning the names of all these rings. Crisbins. This is what I was running for groups. And that's what I'm running in my cube. So, basically, when you're attacking mobs, this is how you're going to play the build. Yeah, man. So, as you can see, we're on T13 here. I need essence. You're going to want to curse, command your skeletons to attack, and then dump out some mages. We'll rip these command your skeletons. And then just sit here, and then just keep having a bomb stuff. And don't walk into the explosions, obviously. So as you can see, when I cast my skeleton, I'm actually getting two. The biggest thing in this build is making sure that you have a circle of Niluj, um, or however you want to pronounce this. Pretty much what this does is it makes it so you get an extra skeletal mage with each cast, and they last longer. Um, this build will not work without them. It, it, it just doesn't work. You can't get enough skeleton mages up. You just can't keep enough of them up to get the damage bonus to stack up decent enough. Because for each skeletal mage you have up, you gotta remember, you're buffing the damage of all your other pets, which is your other mages. Give it more time.
But yep, I mean, this is generally how the build's gonna play out. And I mean, I was running groups last night with a um, pull monk, and I seen my skeletal mages here. I was able to get upwards of 300 billion damage crits out of my skeletal mages with a group of a pull monk. Um, he was definitely buffing my damage. Um, against the rift boss, I was doing about 100 billion damage per skeletal mage hit, which is, you know, pretty good. Um, it's definitely not a speed farming build. This is not a speed farming build. Um, there are way faster builds out there. But it's really fun for group play, actually. And believe it or not, it has the survivability because you're just staying away from everything and letting your pets do all the damage. But yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm building up my essence pretty, pretty freaking quick here. Just because of all the enemies that you can hit. Um, I haven't been getting good refs here to show you guys what's up with this. The densities are kind of bleh. But like, as you can see right now, I haven't commanded my skeletals to do anything. And look at how nothing's dying. You know, I got six mages out right now that should be doing a crap ton of damage. But nothing's dying because I have not commanded my skeletons to attack. As soon as I tap that button, now look at all the damage going out there. Oh, my mages fell off. Yeah, so you have to make sure your skeletal mages are attacking. Um, you can tell this, if they're active, they'll have a gold ring around the skill. So, you see how there's, it's just plain? As soon as they're attacking, now it's highlighted. That's how you know your skeletal mages are attacking, and that your pets will be buffed for extra damage. So there, there's a lot of setup involved in actually getting the damage out on this build. You need to have full essence, your mages need to be attacking, command your skeletons, and then you pull out your pets. That's when you start spamming your, um, your skeletal mages. Now you could run instead of singularity. Um, honestly, skeleton archers cold has worked great for me, and contamination have worked great for me. Um, even for physical, you can run gift of life. Need to build up some assets here. But, um, honestly, I did, um, I think it was a 74 or something earlier, just messing around with the poison, and it worked out really nice. So, as you can see, those skeletal mages are hitting for about, I think I saw 6 billion, was how much they're hitting for right now. And, you know, there's 10 of them doing that. And the nice thing about the gift of the gift of death is they leave a corpse behind so you can eat that corpse afterwards to help keep your toughness up. You know. But um honestly, singularity, you're just gonna be getting so much damage out of singularity. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've got so far with the pet build. Um it is a work in progress. I'm still trying to to work everything out, what exactly is gonna be the best. Um I do have Reaper Wrap somewhere in here that I put together. Yeah, I got these right here. So, eventually I want to try out the Reaper Wraps and see how that works. And stuff like that. But, yep, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I hope you have fun with it. Experiment with it. Um, and yeah, it's just about it. Like I said, you can run physical, cold, or poison. They've all actually, I've, I've tried them all. They're all really good. Um, I just find Singularity to be the best because they just hit so much freaking harder. You know, you can get 20 billion crits running the cold skeletons, maybe, possibly. You know, that's probably about your max. But there's 10 of them doing it. Or you can have Singularity where you got 6 generally is about... The, the average number I get is around 6. Sure, play the build better. It'll, you know, you can keep 10 of them out and, you know, they're hitting for upwards of 300 billion. So, but yep, thank you all for watching, um, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and until next time, peace.